we are we are getting so many concerns from the students particularly the trainees particularly that after joining any of those firms or the company they realize that the company or the firm is not having sufficient um, sufficient work to continue with them right so keeping those things in mind we have given a two months period as the prohibition period wherein the trainee as well as the trainer both are free to discontinue disassociate the training the very first thing required is now you have to enroll your training within 30 days from the start of the training earlier it was 100 days now it has cut short and reduced to 30 days now the 60 days period would be there for the probation wherein you can change you can shift you can cancel your training and the best benefit would be uh, if you have worked for one month that benefit of one month would also be given to your training so you you need to undergo only the 20 months training thereafter because that one month you have already completed thereafter if you have completed 60 days 60 days of training and then you are looking for a change then it would be little tough for the trainer as well as for the trainee because uh, we have provided certain reasons for which you can look for the uh, look for the change uh, of the trainer and those uh, reasons have to be fulfilled by the trainer as well as by the trainee so it is in the best interest of the students i would say further you you all must be aware that we have uh, short term and long term training long term training is always been 21 months training which is uh, uh, which applies to all the students now because uh, from 1st july 22 we have changed the process and all the students who have started who have not started who have not completed the training under the old mechanism have to complete the training as per the new module new mechanism of the training long term training of 21 months only but the short term training which are related to your edp adp adop sip uh, odop there are certain uh, one day three days five days training structure is there in the training mechanism so from 1st of january uh, we have given time to all the students either to complete or to switch over or migrate to the new training structure uh, that new training structure for the short term training would apply from 1st of january 2024 uh, i am really happy to share with you all that uh, we have changed the entire mechanism of the cldp uh, earlier cldp used to be the residential training for 30 days now we have changed the entire mechanism of the cldp in the best interest of the students because students were finding it little difficult to spare 30 days at a stretch as well as it was not cost friendly for the students so now the entire cldp training is divided into two parts one is 15 days online another is 15 days classroom so it is uh, more or less like a msop training now you uh, whatsoever we were uh, pursuing till the introduction of the cldp that would continue so uh, first any of those students have to complete the cldp online based on their certificate completion certificate of the online training you can enroll yourself for the cldp offline or the classroom training which is of 15 days